You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Universal Yums for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out a snack food subscription box. Now, I've done some of these before, so when they said, would you give a box a try, I said yes. It is the Universal Yums. And I was able to pick out a specific country, which you will see when I open the box. I'm just showing you now the cool patterns. It looks like you got some peanuts, some licorice, pretzels, lollipops, and other fun treats. Almost, uh, well, it looks like cookies there and there. And as you can see, it is not open, but now you see how it arrives. Of course, the uh, shipping label is there. And you all know our address now. If you don't, it is in the About Us section. And we are accepting mail. So if you want to send us a letter, say, hey, LPS Dave, draw a picture. We will be showing all of them on video. Okay, so let's see. Now it looks like I just cut here. Okay, here. I do need to see if there's any extra letters in here that they sent this to us for free. I need to let you know that as well, too. So I will check that. There might be some materials that don't come in the normal box. I'm not sure. So here we go. Okay, so as you can see, very colorful and cool the way they did the tissues like that. It's the Philippines box. So everything in here now is from the Philippines. And the cool thing is, look at that brochure. It's nice to have the literature inside so nicely done. And I can't read it. Uh, Ma Buhe to the Philippines. We've just about had it with winter, and this month there's no place we'd rather take you to take you than to one of the 7,000 tropical islands that make up the Philippines. And then you can read that there. And it looks like the Philippines trivia. More blank are sent every day in the Philippines than in the U.S. and Europe combined. Huh. What do you think that is? Which of the following children's toys were created by the Philippines for original use as a weapon? Ooh, I'm going to guess the yo-yo. No, nah, I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, Mubahai or Mubahay. Welcome. What's in... Oh, I'm not going to show you. I will have to show you one by one. Now, the rest is what's in the box. And it is jam-packed. Oh, introducing strange animals of the Philippines. So not only do you get to eat snacks and treats from there, you get cool tidbits of information. Learn to make the Philippines chicken adobo. Hmm. I like to cook. Let's see. Last thing. The Legend of the Pineapple. And listen to a Filipino music playlist. All right, so let's take a look. I will just show you how cool that is, and then you can see the top. And you're going to see some of the snacks here, but at this point I want you to have the experience with me, like if you were opening it up. All right, so now you see what's packed in there, and there's stuff underneath, so you cannot see it all. So what I'm going to do is get a little situated here, kind of put these in order the way they have them in the book, and then I'll come back and taste them one by one. All right, so here we go. Now I did take a picture of everything in one pile so you can see that. At some point I'll put that up, but I don't wanna ruin the surprise for you, especially if you're excited to see new things and I'll show them one at a time. Now this is what's inside my Philippines box. And these are boy, boing, cornic, hot garlic flavor, corns it looks like. Bigger, tastier, crunchy. And then, let's see, there's the ingredients, and it says fried corn, ooh, I like fried corn. Product of the Philippines, there's some nutritional information for everybody out there. And if you're new to these videos, yes, this might take some time, and I'll end up with all kinds of little bowls, and I will make chewing sounds, you know, that's just going to happen. It says, bowl boying means garlic boy in Tagalog. A language spoken in Manila, Philippines. Now, if I mispronounce everything, everything. If I mispronounce things, you know, it's okay. I'm learning. As soon as you open the package, there won't be any confusion to how they chose the name. These have to be the most pungent garlic flavored snacks on earth. Keep them on hand if you want to ward off vampires or unwanted suitors, or you could eat them, which we certainly recommend. These corn nuts are soaked in water for several days and lightly fried. 
create a crispier and fresher version of corn nuts, typically a break your teeth experience in America. Well, here we go. And I try to, it says tear here, but I try to save all my bags. At least till the end of the video and everything's up on YouTube. So if I need some information, I have it. Wow. And uh, that is a fact. It's a very strong smell, like you just chopped garlic. Okay, here we go. Take a closer look. They are very crispy, it says, so break your teeth snack. Well, in America, let's see what these are like. I've actually had corns that are harder, so these are a little softer. It's like a really dense potato chip. Harder than a crunchy Cheerio. I mean a crunchy Cheeto. But now it's burning the back of my throat. So now I'm getting that hot taste. Ooh, super good. All right. I like that. So let me move that off to the side. And I'll move the second one in. It's a pandan cake. Pandan, pandan. I'm going to finish the rest of that bag at some point. Trust me on that. Let's see. It is a plant grown in Southeast Asia. It's not common in the U.S., but in many Asian countries, the pandan flavoring is as common as vanilla is here. Pandan has a sweet, bright, and even a somewhat soapy flavor to it. There's the ingredients. Nutritional information. Looks like there's air to keep the bag from affecting it because I feel like it's a, it's a soft. Look at that. So you have this cool looking almost matcha green. Uh, the light sponge cake is pretty representative of the flavors of pandan and the color is too. Don't be alarmed that the cake is green. It's not mold. It's the chlorophyll of the leaf juice that colors it. Here in the Philippines they're not eating green eggs and ham. Instead they're eating green pandan. Let's take a look. It feels cool. Ooh, look at that. Spongy. It's my spongy cake. Let me get another bowl. I try to keep everything in bowls so that I can transport them in the video area here better. All right, here we go. Mmm. Not as fluorescent as I saw on the package. Reminds me of a light pound cake. Little airier. Let's sniff. Let's taste. It doesn't taste spongy to me. I mean, it doesn't taste soapy to me. It reminds me of like a pound cake, but airier. And I ate half of it. And it's good. Alright, next one. This is called Lips Mango Candy. Let's try this one here. Mangoes grown in the Philippines are called Carabao. Carabao mango and are famous for their intense sweetness. You'll get a taste of the sweetness in these candies, but more than that, you'll get a new makeup option. Or a new makeup option. Hmm. What does that mean, makeup option? These candies are called lips because school children will wet them with their mouth and use them as fall lipstick. If you're interested in a mango tinted smile, feel free to do the same. Really? More color, more fun. Mango flavored candy. It's nice to give you, you know, a few to try. More than one. Look. Alright, now if you've seen me eat hard candy, I know you're supposed to, you know, take your time and nurture it in your mouth. I do, but... Mmm. That's good flavor. It's very smooth. All right, here we go. I'm going to crunch. Mmm. That is a really good candy. All right, so far, everything is really good. Now we're going from sweet to savory. Crecklins. 
ribbed cracklings, salt and vinegar, old fashioned. Sorry kids, but until you're 21, you won't just be able to appreciate the full glory of these chips. They're salty, vinegary, and meant to accompany beer. The label on top of the package is pretty blatant about that fact. It says beer match. Never fear, these slightly spicy multi chips are delightful regardless of the beverage that accompanies them. Exactly. And I do have a snack series where I accompany different snacks with sodas. So there's some information. Cool little bird there with the big boots. Nutritional facts, ingredients. Mm, I think these are going to be good. Consume immediately after opening. Let's do that. It's very poofy. I notice all these bags have a nice poofiness to them. You notice that? Ooh, that vinegar is really strong. It's like if you just open a bottle of vinegar, that's what it smells like right away. Now look at that. That's a crackling. It's like a pork rind here in the USA. Maybe not as dense, but really good. I almost taste more vinegar than salt, but you do get the salt on your taste buds. That one is really good. Wow, this is exciting. It's my first time trying so many snacks from the Philippines. I don't know if it's my first Philippine snack, though. All right, so the next one. Let me slide this in here. This is kind of like a twofer because they're from the same company and there's a disclaimer there. Okay. The disclaimer says, in full disclosure... These cookies are made in the USA by a Filipino bakery called Goldilocks, okay? And there's two flavors here, it looks like. Cookies and cream and ube, or ube. It's a shortbread cookie. Originally from Spain, it was brought to the Philippines over 500 years ago. That's a very interesting looking cookie, isn't it? When the Philippines were still a colony of Spain, popular flavors of Filipino polvoron include pinapig, crisp rice, cashew, peanut cookies, and creamy, and ube. The purple polvoron in your box is flavored with ube, a purple yam used heavily in Filipino cooking. The other flavors in your box is cookies and cream, which will be a real treat for anyone who likes Oreos, which, come on, is pretty much everyone. That is the coolest and prettiest looking color, isn't it, for a cookie? It's very dense. It almost reminds me of like a uh, giant sweet tart, you know, when you crack it, but the it's very soft when you eat it. Mmm. Definitely reminds me of like a shortbread butter cookie. Let's try this one. Oreo cookie, huh? It does look like it has little bits of that in there. Mmm. It also reminds me of like an Italian crescent cookie. Very tasty. And good. I'm going to take a quick break here. Reorganize a little. I've got another six snacks to try. So I will be back. Alright, so I took a sip of water, cleared my palate a little bit. And now I'm on a golden sweet corn. Enjoy the original sweet corn by Regent. Let's see here. What else? What else? What else? Uh, nutritional information. It's kind of neat the way they have all the corn growing. Keep our country clean. Made in the Philippines. I like that. Let's see. Again, another very puffy bag. Are all the bags in the Philippines puffy like that? I like it. You heard it kind of pop? and release its air. See, I thought it was going to be more like this corn here, but it's more like these puff balls, which of course they had there, and I should have noticed it, but... Oh, by the way, I changed my camera angle a little too, if you didn't notice that. Okay. 
Okay, let's just say, if you've ever had cream corn in a can, and this tastes exactly like cream corn in a can. It's a nice puppy, Cheeto-like corn. Wow, extra good and tasty and crunchy. And they are definitely corny in flavor, that is. All right, so let's read about these. <clears throat> Here we go. So, no. Oh. Though their street food is famous by, for deep fried cow intestines and balut, a half developed chicken egg, corn is actually one of the popular items in the Philippine streets. Filipinos feast on corn on the cob or a cup of corn topped with butter and cheese. If there's no fresh corn available, they'll go for this savory treat. There's really no other way to describe this pup snack other than to compare it to cream corn. Ha! That was right. If you have any other suggestions, we're all ears. Sorry, that was corny. Oh, so they're throwing out the corny jokes as well. All right. Last one. No, not the last one. Next one is a candy. It's called King Chocnut. One of the most iconic snacks in all the Philippines is chocolate treat is made with only five simple ingredients. Ground peanuts, milk powder, cocoa, vanilla, and sugar. Though it's often eaten alone, this chocolate is similar to M&M's. And it's often used as a topping or added on to other recipes. Ice cream shops offer a hefty spoonful of choco nut. The little king, there's a little king's crown there. An upscale bar in Manila sprinkles choco nut on martinis and cakes. I think my choco nut is choco broken. I wonder if I mishandled that while I was, there we go, that one looks a little bit. Oh, so that it looks like they're all, you can all just broken up. You, now, all right, here we go. I'll try, I'll just have to Try the whole thing. Oh well. It's super soft, super crumbly, and very creamy. And I can't necessarily compare it to anything here in the US. Hmm. And it melts really fast in your mouth. I'm going to say that's a unique flavor that I have never experienced before. You get the chocolate and you get the peanut butter, but the way it melts and it's super creamy, that's very good. And that's it on the packaging. So there you go. Let's move on. Let me put that in a bowl off to the side. And let's check this out. Now I'm going in order on their little booklet, so... It's called Pinky Goodies Assorted Butterscotch Bars. Just imagine these butterscotch bars being baked especially for you by your Filipino tita, Aunt Pinky, the founder of Pinky Goodies. Pinky was handed down a secret butterscotch recipe for her mother, which she used to start her brand of Filipino butterscotch bars. These are award winning. All right, award winning. Brown sugar in number one ingredient flour, butter, glucose, eggs, dried mangoes. Okay. That is good. I hope I showed all the packaging good. I feel like I missed the this here. I don't think I showed the back of these very well. I showed the fronts. Maybe not enough. And then there's the backs in case I missed that. Sorry. Brief commercial interruption. Well, since I have two of these, I don't have to worry too much about the packaging. Look at that. Hmm. Interesting. Green Mango Butterscotch Bar. Sniff. Okay, it doesn't smell like butterscotch to me. Let's give it a shot, though. I can't say it tastes like butterscotch. There's some crunchy bits in there, or chewy bits. Hmm. Now, of all the things I've tried, this is probably the most unique. It's squishy. Look, you could almost like form it into a dough. It's so moist. Look at that. It's not unpleasant in any way. Just a little bit different. All right. But I'm not sure I taste butterscotch. Maybe I'm just not familiar enough with that taste. 
So Melon Dew Menthol Candy. Three more to go. I'm going to get through it. Here we go. Star Melon Dew Menthol Candy. These candies will force you to do a double take. They taste exactly like a sweet melon, but they come with the unmistakable hint of cool, refreshing menthol. It's the perfect candy if you can open it with your mouth. Though, if you want to freshen your breath while eating something sweet. All right, here we go. Ooh, very nice melon flavor. Uh, let's see. Well, in, or for those all too typical moments when you want to eat a slice of melon and a cough drop at the same time. Well, oh, they're sure funny over there, aren't they? The way they like to spice up their copy. Mm, that's good. It's interesting. It's unique because you do get that menthol in your mouth and you're tasting melon. All right, here we go. I'm going to bite it. Mm. Next is a cookie. A cookie sandwich. This is a fita, lemon flavor cracker sandwich. In the U.S. we have Ritz crackers, typically filled with peanut butter or cheese. With a creamy lemony filling and crunchy cracker outside, the Philippines puts a unique spin on this Ritz cracker. If you think lemon is weird, be grateful you didn't choose one of the other flavor options, tuna and bacon. I don't know, I might have liked that. Nutritional facts. Ingredients made in the Philippines. It sure does look like a Ritz. Okay, here we go. We'll take two out. Almost looks like cream cheese on the inside, doesn't it? Snip. I'm not smelling lemon. Not strong enough. Maybe because I have menthol going on. It's crispy and tastes and, and reminds me of a Ritz when you bite it. I actually taste the outside more than the inside. The lemon, in my opinion, is very mild. And it does taste like a Ritz cracker. All right. Last one. Here we go. XO coffee candy. Now I'm going to show you this because we're at the end here. Look how much copy they put in there. It's a whole paragraph. So I'm going to let you read that. And you can learn about it there. And what I'll do here is I'll show you all these real quick. Now that I have tried them all. Okay. And this whole second page. And the rest of the brochure I showed you. Okay? So let's try one of these. Classic. Jack and Jill. I will say, I've had the hardest time opening the candies. I've had to cut every single one. I use my teeth. So it's a hard, crunchy candy. Here we go. Ooh, nice. A very strong coffee flavor. I'm a fan of most coffee candy products. It's good. I'm biting it now. Tasty. I like that. It's like a Starbucks deep roast and a candy. All right. Let me pile this all back in here and just do a quick recap. All right, there you go. It is the Universal Yum subscription box. Snack like a local. This was the Philippines box, I would say. It was a really good box. I was happy with everything in the box. Absolute favorite. All right, so let me pick a sweet item that was my absolute favorite. I'm going to go with the coffee candy. I think that one was really good. And then in the savories between these three snacks that one's really tough i'm gonna go with the corn i thought that was pretty neat and very garlicky plus that had a little spice to it so overall plus you get the cool brochure with it that gives you facts about the country and plus details about each item that you're about to eat so overall very excited and happy with this one and if you like it 
you know, let me know in the comments. And if you're from the Philippines, you know, check in and tell us what's on the store shelves. What are you eating? Have you tried all these? Let us know that down there. And if you're a fan of subscription box, look in that description. I'll have a link to more videos. And I have to say, thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.